Hello my friends, I am here today with Arts Council Oklahoma City and Art and Victory. My name is Caitlin Nick and I am a professional artist. I'm an abstract painter and I also do sculpture and I am a teacher, I'm a teaching artist. So I'm excited to be here today and to go through an art activity based on the artist Helen Frankenthaler and studying some abstract art. So today's lesson is going to be using um, coffee filters to create abstract art paintings inspired by the artist Helen Frankenthaler. So this is her, it's a picture of her in her studio. Um, she is an, an American artist. She was born in the 20s and she was one of the first pioneers of abstract art, um, specifically abstract painting. So this is what she looked like. This is what she looked like in her environment. I have a few of her paintings here today. And these are great examples of work that is all about color and movement and shape. And so when you look at these, I want you to think about what you might see in this piece. What colors do you see? What shapes do you see? Oftentimes students will think that this piece looks like a, a figure, maybe a person standing on a boardwalk. Maybe this is the sky. But if you flip it upside down, do you still see that? <laughs> It kind of changes based on how you look at it. And same with this one. What do you think mostly makes up this piece? I see mostly color and shapes. And that is what makes abstract art. So art that is about abstraction, things that don't look like real life. Here's an example of one of Helen Frankenthaler's piece in the gallery. And if you can look, this is a person here looking at it up close. And look how tiny they are compared to that piece. So they are larger than life. So today for our activity, we are going to be using the following materials. We are going to be using coffee filters, these you can ask, you can, if you're a child, <laughs> you can ask your parents for them. Um, they are from any main grocery store, you can find them. Um, this is a good example of more of like the triangular shape one. We're gonna be using a paintbrush, a cup of water, a paper towel. We're gonna be using markers and also colored pencils. So to get started, we're gonna take our coffee filter, we're gonna put it down on our table. We're gonna start with our markers. So you can choose any color you like. I'm gonna start with red. And you're just gonna start filling the whole coffee filter with ink. So I used red first. Next I'm gonna use yellow. And you wanna think about what the colors will make when they blend. So what do, what do, <laughs> what does yellow and red make? Maybe orange. And then what does yellow and green make? You can kind of see it on there. Makes a yellow green. What about yellow and blue?
makes a little bit of a green, a dark green. So I'm gonna keep filling in this coffee filter. So far I've just done blocks of color, but you can also do stripes, maybe some squiggle lines. I'm gonna take some black, maybe I'll do some dots. This part is completely up to you. So that's the fun part about abstract art. You get to come up with your own rules, what it looks like, what you want your image to be. And keep in mind that this will change once we move on to the next step. All right, so I got it mostly filled in. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more, maybe just a little few sparkles. All right, so now that I did my marker, I am ready to add a little bit of colored pencil. So I'm just gonna layer on a few more lines. And next we'll see what happens to our design. So I'm gonna grab my paintbrush, dip it in the water, and I'm going to cover up the whole coffee filter with water. This part is very important. So if you see any dry areas, make sure you put the water on top. And as you can see, it's starting to blend together. And this is actually how, um, similar to how Helen Frankenthaler made her work. She did a lot of water and she would pour pigment onto her canvases to create these big puddle effects. So our work is gonna look very similar as we are using a lot of water today and blending those colors together. So as you can see, the colors have blended where we mix them, the blue-green and the light yellow-green, the orange around the red and yellow, and where we added the colored pencil lines, they did not blend at all. So those lines stayed. All right, so once you're done adding your color and water, you can slowly, you can ask an adult for help or you can try to do it yourself, but you just wanna take these corners and slowly separate them and they will gently pull apart. And so here you can see your final image. And do you see how they match? The circles and the lines. Because when we painted it, it bled through. The color soaked all the way through from the top, through the back, onto the next sheet. And so we have a symmetrical, abstract artwork. So symmetry means whenever they both match, both sides match. All right. So now we can just move this to the side and when it is dry, we can use it to make other types of art. We could cut it up and use it in collage. You could take it um, once it's dry and glue down the edges onto your paper, kind of like so, to create like a sculpture if you wanted. 
you could make several more um, with your supplies here. Here's some examples from other lessons we have done where it looks kind of like a sunset. You could experiment with different shapes. This one was a round coffee filter, kind of like a butterfly. And you can experiment with using more colored pencil in your design. Knowing that the colored pencil will not fade and it'll be more like a drawing. Thank you so much for joining me today as we learn about Helen Frankenthaler and abstract art. My name is Caitlin Nick and you can find me at my website, CaitlinNick.com or on social media at Caitlin and Nick. Um, be sure to like and subscribe this channel and keep following Arts Council Oklahoma City and Art and Victory and we'll catch you in the next one.